<laughs> Welcome back on this Wednesday morning. So it is going to be such a nice day outside. Bask in some of that sunshine this morning, will ya? Temperatures will be into the 50s as we head into the afternoon. A great day to maybe go check out some waterfalls. Oh, so excited to start busting out some of my summer graphics. I just love this time of year. Forecasted highs for today. It'll be coolest near Lake Superior. Areas across the south will be warmer into the 50s and even a few low 60s along the Wisconsin state line. Our overnight lows will be trending in the low to mid 30s for most areas. And then tomorrow will be a couple of degrees warmer as compared to today. Even in areas across the north and near Lake Superior will tap into the 50s tomorrow afternoon. And then mainly well into the 60s inland and along the Wisconsin state line. So one day of a difference. You can see how much that makes. We're seeing mostly clear skies right now as high pressure is the big dominating weather feature for us at this moment. So no big weather makers are heading your way for the couple of next days. We have a big ridge that will move in over overhead we coupled with that high pressure will keep us dry with some sunshine today. Here's 630 into the afternoon and even sunshine for areas downstate in the clear for Wisconsin and downstate. Tomorrow though there'll be a few light rain showers to skirt right along southern Wisconsin and the southern lower peninsula into tomorrow afternoon. Otherwise the UP stays dry still another day but we'll have a little bit more in the way of clouds tomorrow. Now as we continue to stay dry over the coming days we will continue Continue to have some lower humidity values and then it also looks like we'll have some breezy conditions for the end of the week and end of the weekend so there's a moderate level for a wildfire risk during those days we're talking about relative humidity values being down in the 20 to 30 percent range during the daytime hours it's temperature dependent so during the daytime hours when we're already seeing the warmth and dry conditions on the ground surface plus the low humidity values and then couple that with some breezy conditions and breezy winds and looks like gusts on Friday would be right around 25 to you know, 30 miles per hour. Those factors combined will help trigger the wildfire potential for the end of this week and then again into Saturday. Now, once we clear Saturday, you'll notice a difference on Sunday through next week because we go from a very dry air mass <laughs> to a very humid air mass. Here we go for next Monday. Watch all of this green. You see all that green? That's humidity. That's a lot of moisture that's moving in out of the Gulf for next week. It is going to be a humid one for a couple of days and we'll also have the potential of some thunderstorms.